And here's another example on the applications of Newton's second law. We have an Atwood machine, but in this case, instead of it just being stationary, it's being pushed upward at a speed of 2 meters per second at a constant velocity. What will the acceleration of these blocks be now? And actually, it's a lot simpler and easier than you might think. There's actually no effect on the system because there's no acceleration. In this case, the acceleration of the whole system is zero. So A of the system is equal to zero. And according to Newton's first law, if um, there is no forces acting on the system, then the system, once in motion at 2 meters per second, will continue in motion forever and ever without any change. So this really doesn't make any difference. The only time that this begins to make a difference is if there's actually an acceleration to the system. So the next example will have the whole system accelerate upward, the pull accelerate upward at some um, acceleration and then see how things change as far as the acceleration of the blocks. So in this case we can simply look at it like we did before. We have the M1G pulling downward like this. We have the M2G pulling down like this. We can say that since M1G is bigger than M2G, we expect acceleration to be in this direction, and we'll call that the positive direction like that. We then use Newton's second law, F equals MA. And of course, in this case, the F, and then we should say F net, is equal to MA for the whole system. And that would be mass total, because there's more than one mass. The net force is going to be the positive force aiding the acceleration and the negative force opposing the acceleration. So this will be M1G minus M2G equals the total mass of M1 plus M2 times the acceleration, dividing both sides by M1 plus M2. And now we have the traditional, traditional acceleration equation for the Atwood machine. And so again, we could say that this would be 10 times 9.8 minus 5 times 9.8 all divided by 10 plus 5 and we can see then that this will be 9.8 divided by 3 equal that would be 3.27 meters per second squared. So if we have a situation we have an Atwood machine it's being lowered or raised at a constant speed again we can ignore all that just as it's, if it's stationary and the answer we get is exactly the same. But on the next example, we're actually going to make this accelerate and see how that changes things at that point.